One hour ago slash RVIP Celine Dion slash heart stopped. Hope keep watching for more details. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Alana. Welcome back to my channel like this video and enjoy this video. Don't miss the main topic of this video, so let's start the latest update news. Celine Dion, a superstar of the international music scene, who has produced the album True Six with singles like I'm Alive and That's the Way It Is, has been battling an incurable disease for years, but is now gradually losing her energy day by day. People frequently refer to Celine Dion as the pretest of Pope or the queen of adult contemporary because of her thin build and long-standing health issues. At the age of 54, the female singer has faced imminent death. Music recently, Celine Dion has surprised everyone with her emaciated and unrecognizable appearance, which has left many fans feeling sorry for the female singer's condition. The singer has occasionally appeared on television shows and toured the United States, but her health has continued to deteriorate. Celine Dion had a thin, lifeless body when she performed. But in photos, she could be seen with a boneless body and an undernourished face, neck, and skin. Concerns about Diva's health in the music industry are widespread among fans' music. What illness does she have since she appears to be 70 years old, but is actually only one year older than Jennifer Lopez? Many Daily Mail commenters asked, unbelievable. The doctors recently informed the family that Selene Dion also has a heart condition so she can no longer receive cancer treatment. According to the website Thames, Celine Dion recently had to stop receiving cancer treatment for three months because she underwent hot wave surgery. Following the surgery, she also developed pneumonia, proving the difficult nature of cancer treatment at first. The reason for Celine's thin and lifeless appearance is that she was recently diagnosed with esophageal cancer in 2019. Although she has always been professional on stage, Celine hasn't always found it easy dealing with the situation. The 54-year-old singer revealed in an interview with Extra that she has been trying to find the illness to have the passion continue and have the strength. Celine Dion, a Canadian singer and global music sensation, has captured the hearts of millions with her powerful voice, emotional performances, and remarkable career journey. Born on March 30, 1968, in Charlemagne, Quebec, Canada, Diane's rise to fame is a story of talent, determination, and perseverance. Growing up in a musical family, Diane's passion for singing was evident from a young age. She was the youngest of 14 children and was nurtured in a home where music was a central part of life. At just five years old, she made her first public appearance at her brother's wedding, captivating the audience with her surprisingly mature voice. Diane's prodigious talent didn't go unnoticed for long. In 1981, at the age of 12, she submitted a demo tape of a song she had written with her mother to music manager Rene Angelo. Recognizing her exceptional potential, Angelo took young Colleen under his wing and mortgaged his home to finance her debut album. This marked the beginning of a partnership that would shape her entire career. Her first album, titled La Voix du Bon Dieu, The Voice of the Good Lord, was released in 1981 in Quebec, Canada. Although she achieved success in her home province, it was her 1988 Eurovision Song Contest victory with the song Ni Partes Pas Sans Moi that catapulted her to international recognition. The early 1990s marked a turning point in Diane's career. She signed a multi-album contract with Epic Records and released her first English-language album, Unison, in 1990. The album's single, Where Does My Heart Beat Now, became a breakthrough hit in North America, setting the stage for her meteoric rise to fame. In 1992, Diane's life took a romantic turn when she married her longtime manager, Rene Angelil, who was more than 25 years her senior. Their relationship garnered significant media attention, but their strong partnership endured throughout her career. Angelil's guidance and support were instrumental in shaping Diane's success, both artistically and personally. 
Diane's fame skyrocketed with the release of the soundtrack for Disney's animated film Beauty and the Beast in 1991. Her duet with Peebo Bryson on the title track earned them an Academy Award and a Grammy Award, solidifying her status as a global music icon. The release of her album Falling Into You in 1996 marked a defining moment in Diane's career. The album's singles, including Because You Loved Me and It's All Coming Back to Me Now, showcased her unparalleled vocal range and emotional depth. Falling Into You won two Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year, and further established Diane as a powerhouse in the music industry. Diane's contribution to the soundtrack of James Cameron's blockbuster film Titanic added another monumental achievement to her resume. The song My Heart Will Go On became an anthem of its time, earning her an Academy Award for Best Original Song and becoming one of her most iconic hits. Tragedy struck in 2016 when Diane lost her husband and longtime collaborator, Rena Engelil, to cancer. Despite the profound loss, Diane remained resilient and continued to pursue her music career while raising their three children. Diane's Las Vegas residency, Kaline, which began in 2003 at the Coliseum at Kaiser's Palace, became one of the most successful and critically acclaimed residencies in history. The show attracted fans from around the world and solidified her status as an unmatched live performer. Her influence extended beyond music as she ventured into the world of fashion, launching her own line of accessories and fragrances. Additionally, she used her platform to engage in philanthropic efforts, supporting causes such as medical research and disaster relief. As of my last knowledge update in September 2021, Kaline Dian's journey in the music industry continued to inspire and captivate audiences. Her legacy as a global music icon, talented vocalist, and resilient individual remains a testament to her unwavering dedication and extraordinary artistry. For the latest updates on her life and career, I recommend referring to more recent and reliable sources. Thanks you.